Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be working on this very spooky horse. I really wanted a rocking horse for the nursery. If you guys saw the last video, I went antique shopping and I had all these different things I was looking for for the nursery. Um, and I did find this little horse. So when I saw this horse, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Um, the whole time I wanted a horse to just look very rustic and kind of just like worn in. I didn't want it to be like painted or look perfect or anything like that. So this horse is quite the opposite of that. And I think as is, it is very spooky looking. So we are going to de-spook this horse and turn it into a very rustic, charming looking horse for Baby Boy's Nursery. So let's get started. Here is what the horse looks like. So I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $50, which I was very excited about. All of the other rocking horses I was finding, whether it was on Facebook Marketplace or an antique shop, they were all a minimum of $200. Um, so I was just really struggling to find one because I knew it was a piece I really wanted for the nursery, but also I wasn't sure if he would actually use it or not. So to spend that much money on it just didn't really make sense. But when I stumbled upon this one, I was like, this is perfect. We can just refinish it. So I'm going to be using the Clean Strip Premium Stripper. This was my first time using it. I always use Citrus Strip. I love Citrus Strip because it's a little bit more natural and not quite as toxic um, and especially being pregnant I feel like that is the one to use but I will say I feel like citrus strip just takes a little bit more effort to use and I have to constantly like reapply it um, and add more and it just gets really gunky and sometimes it's great but in a case like this where there's lots of little crevices I felt like it would just be really annoying to use so I started off with a foam brush which I knew I probably shouldn't use one and as I suspected it kind of melted a bit so I just ended up taking the glove um, which worked out better anyway and just went over the whole horse I put a really thick layer then I put these garbage bags on to seal it all in and that way it could just keep working um, and then I ended up applying I left this for about 45 minutes and then I applied another layer and then um, a total of an hour and a half later it was time to take the garbage bags off and see what it looked like So as you can see, it's already starting to bubble and peel away. And again, I feel like whenever I use citrus strip, I always leave it on for a minimum of like eight hours. So I'll put it on overnight. And I feel like this one just started to work so quickly. So what I did next was I took this pressure washer and some people might cringe at this, um, but I've never had a problem with it. I always will take my pressure washer and go over the piece that I'm stripping and if it's a really great day, then all of the strip, like all of the paint will just flake off and come off. But I think because it's so cold here, um, it just was a little bit stuck in there. Um, so I just took um, a wire brush and dipped it in warm water. You could also dip it in mineral spirits to help to get the extra paint off, but water worked perfectly fine. And I just scrubbed away. I feel like it looks like this was a lot of work, but it actually didn't take that long to scrub the whole thing down. And then Connor ended up coming outside as well and helping me. This was so satisfying to take the pressure washer to it and see all of the natural wood appear. It is so beautiful. And the horse just instantly went from scary to not quite as scary. So we were just really excited to complete um, this whole horse and just get all of the paint off of it and see how beautiful it looked. I also just wanted to mention that if you're using a pressure washer, just be very careful not to get too close to your wood object because you can fray the wood. So just make sure you stay a good distance away from it. This is the horse very very wet so I just put it in the basement where it gets really hot that way it could dry out nicely what the horse looks like all stripped and I think it looks so much better <laughs> again 
people might have their own preferences like the other way, but I just love this. So I'm gonna give it a light sand with a finishing sandpaper. Um, and I have to decide still if I want to add one more layer to get the extra paint off or if we kind of like how it looks and then just leave it or maybe even take um, some paint and kind of do like a whitewash over it just to add a little bit more dimension to it. I'm not really sure. We're not going to know until we take it apart. Um, this actually does like completely come apart and like the legs come off and stuff so I'm probably going to keep it apart for a little bit just so I can get into these spaces a little bit better. I feel so weird taking this horse apart. I don't know if these are coming off, but how do I get the head off? All right. So I'm gonna be using just an orbital sander. I can link the one down below that we have. And then this finishing sandpaper, it's super smooth, so it's not really gonna take too much off, but it should just give the horse a nice finish. So next I'm just taking some wood glue and I'm going to glue this entire horse back together because we definitely don't want it falling apart when a little baby boy is riding on it or even if it's just in his room, you want to make sure it is safe and it stays together. Next, I'm just taking a damp cloth to go over the horse and get any of the sawdust residue off. So here is what we have so far. I really like it. I have two options that I could do right now. I have um, a little bit of the color Greek Villa. I was thinking of taking on a paintbrush, very little of it though, and just kind of like going over it. Um, just to add some more um, like antiquing kind of rustic look to it um, or I also have some polycrylic which is just a nice clear matte protective finish it will enhance the color a little bit of this or I can just leave it I just can't decide what I want to do I think I might just put the clear finish on and start with that I just went in with a very, very thin layer of the polycrylic. Normally I would do a little bit heavier, but I kind of liked how the wood looked naturally. So I just wanted to seal in, um, you know, everything it needed to be sealed in, but not have it be too shiny. Now comes the fun part. You can dress up your horse however you want. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these beautiful items. So first I found some of this braided cord. I wanted something thicker, but I found a solution to that. Then I found this blue velvet ribbon. It is so beautiful. I love how it's frayed on the ends. It looks very natural and organic. 
even the other side of it is gorgeous and all of these things were only like 3 dollars each and 40% off so it was such a good deal also from Hobby Lobby I found these tacks and I love this brass color I think this is all just going to look so beautiful together so I just took three cords of the braided cord I took some electrical tape tape that together and now what I'm going to do is just braid this and we're going to use this as the horse's rein. Next I'm just taking the tack and pushing it through the tape and cord and then I'll cut off any of the excess and do that to the other side. Next I'm just going to hammer these into the horse. I absolutely love how this looks. It came out so beautiful. So now let's add the blue ribbon. And if you're making this for a girl's room, of course it would be cute to put like a little pink bow or yellow or any color that you want that fits whatever room you're doing. I think that these horses are also just so beautiful, even if it's not a nursery, just in your actual home. But here is what the final result of this horse looks like. I am so excited about it. I love all of the character that the leftover paint leaves on the horse. And I just love the color of the natural wood. I feel like the blue bow with the brown leather cord just looks so beautiful. And the brass tack just adds such simple details to it, but it is so beautiful and charming. This day, I actually found these little cowboy boots. Oh my gosh, how cute. And I thought that they just looked so adorable next to the horse. I'm so excited to put all of this stuff in his nursery. It's going to be so, so sweet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you recreate a rocking horse, please send me a picture because I would love to see it. But I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.